Once children are confident to move on to short division, they use the method with the division bus stop or the division bridge. So for example, with the question 63 divided by 3, we write the 63 underneath the bridge or bus stop and then the dividing by 3 at the left hand side. We then ask the question, how many 3's are in 6? And by using the inverse multiplication, they should know that 2 3's are 6. So we therefore write the 2 above. Because 2 3's are 6, there's no number to carry. So we now repeat the question, how many 3's are in 3? Children should know from the inverse times table that 1 3, 1 times 3 is 3. There's therefore no remainder, so the answer is 21. So therefore, 63 divided by 3 is equal to 21. With the question 92 divided by 4, we write the 92 underneath the bridge and the divide by 4 to the left of the bridge. We now ask the question, how many 4s are in 9? And use our inverse times table knowledge knowing that two fours are eight. Because we've got nine, we're going to have to carry it one because nine take eight is one, so we carry one. We now ask the question, how many fours are in 12? Children again should know that three fours, three times four is 12. There's therefore nothing to carry, therefore this is the final answer, 23, so that 92 divided by four is equal to 23. With the question 426 divided by 3, we write the 426 underneath the bus stop or bridge and then the divide by 3 to the left of the bus stop. Now ask the question how many 3's are in 4? Children should know that 1 times 3 is 3 because we've got 4, we do 4, take away the 3 we've just found out, which leaves us 1 left over to carry. We now ask the question, how many 3's are in 12? Children again should know that 4 times 3 is equal to 12. We've got nothing left over to carry, so we now ask the question, how many 3's are in 6? Again, children should know that 2 times 3 is 6, so there's nothing left over as a remainder. Therefore, 426 divided by 3 is equal to 142. With the question 512 divided by 4, we write the 512 underneath the bridge or bus stop and the divide by 4 to the left of the bridge. We now ask the question, how many 4s are in 5? Children should know that 1 times 4 is 4. Because we've got 5, we now do 5, take away 4, and have 1 left over to carry. Now ask the question, how many 4s are in 11? Children should know that 2 4s, 2 times 4 is 8. We've got 11, take away 8, therefore we've got 3 left over to carry. Now ask the question, how many 4s are in 32? Children should know that 8, 8 times 4 is equal to 32, therefore there's nothing left over as a remainder. So the question 512 divided by 4 is equal to 128.